Hey guys, it's Brian Ward again. I uh, thought I'd show you uh, what I just got uh, to me today. Uh, picked up one of these bad boys, which is the uh, A15 Crusader from Rubicon Models. Um, this is my first Rubicon kit, and uh, my British are late war, and I have a AE, AEC Mark III as my armored car, so that's kind of my anti-tank option. So I kind of want something a little more anti-personnel. So I'm actually, uh, in this kit you can actually, which is pretty cool, um, on the back here you can make it into the, A f the A15 uh, Crusader Mark II, or Mark III, I'm sorry, it's not focusing very well. Um, you can make the, you know, the, the Crusader Mark I with the two-pounder, I believe was on there. I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, British... Uh, uh, tanker by any means, so uh, you're not to bear with me if I'm wrong on this. But I think that had the two pounder on it, and then they upgraded to the six pounder on the Mark II. And then after these things, after the desert uh, North Africa campaign, they became kind of obsolete. They were still fighting it with upgraded versions of this in um, um, uh, Italy, but then they just they became more of a training tank, and then. Uh, they just became obsolete until they decided to put I think the Orlikan guns are on this or maybe they're Polston I'm not sure um they're probably Orlikan anyways um they have the two 20 millimeter cannons and this was the AA, the AA tank variant and uh, they had another variant which I'm going to be fabricating myself because I want like I said I'm a big heavy auto cannon fan and bolt action so this is actually going to be my standby turret until I create my uh, Bofors turret, the 40 millimeter open topped uh, turret. Uh, good tank though. Um, I kinda I take a non-traditional uh, approach to the British Army for sure. Um, so yeah, really good, really good. I, I love the box. The box is just phenomenal. Um, it's got some pretty cool like drawings and stuff on the sides and uh, the artwork, that picture illustration is pretty pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's let's look in the so the first the first sprue. Get my camera to focus because it's apparently dumb. Um, you got your running wheels, tracks. Um, it's pretty cool how they actually have this um, set up that uh, the the track part of it's all one piece right here, and then the wheels actually go on you know go on the ding ding ding, ding and then it lays on tops. So it's gonna make painting it pretty easy. Um, really crisp, clean chassis right here. Um, my camera sucks. Uh, sorry guys. Uh, so yeah, you get the, the body, uh, you get options for the back panel, um, the back, uh, panel, the engine thing. You can put a fuel tank on there, it looks like. But this is like the running gear, or the running, this is basically the chassis of the tank on this sprue. Which, you know, thumbs up to Rubicon. Really, did a really good job. I mean, the model looks great. Um... So we'll take that next sprue. As you can see, um, we have the angular turret, which is like the two pounder, the Mark II and uh, Mark One and Two. Um, you got a couple of different uh, gun mantlets. Uh, there's the box that goes on the back of the turret. It, it look, you got, they put the um, the turret hatches so you can open or close it. Of course, there's no um, there's no crew so I mean that you'd have to find on your own but it's really easy to find British crew um, the guns are on here so this looks to be the six pounder this appears to be like a CS version a close support version barrel um, there's a machine gun there in case you want to make, because there's the little turret here if you want to make the very first Mark I version that had the, the mini turret in the front with the machine gun. Um, on the next the next room, we've got the, this is the AA turret, which has the open top in the back. Not open top in the game though, which is kind of odd, but uh, the guns come out the front here, and here you can see the two guns on this part of the sprue right here. You know, very nice. Um, you got the you know the aiming mechanisms for that. You got some spa spare running wheel. Um, here's the actual the actual barrels to the bigger guns, the two pounder and the six pounder. And if I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. Uh, 
again, here's a here's another turret because you can have multiple turrets. Uh, which these Rubicon kits seem to be really nice because you can build multiple tanks out of one kit by just swapping turrets and stuff. Which I'll be doing, but I'm going to be in the AA turrets. But here we got the the side guards for the tracks uh, for the Mark One, and I think the Mark Two, and then late war, it's. Uh, the track guards changed, and you have like a very small uh, track guards because they were—I guess they weren't deemed necessary because they weren't getting—they weren't frontline combat tanks anymore at that point. Um, yeah, so a really good kit. Uh, also includes a really nice um, Rubicon models uh, instruction manual, and it, t it shows you all three variants, like what they have, which is kind of cool. Um, well, that shows the two variants in the pictures. These are the three sprues, A, B, and C. They label them. Um, what I was alluding to, actually, was the back page. I'm sorry. So you got, uh, you know, assembly, how this says, you know. And they even have tips for, like, um, for the advanced modeler to use brass or, you know, brass rods to actually create uh, the guards for the, uh, the guard right here on this. The guards for the lights. Sorry. Uh... For the tank, and it says advanced modelers. You know, you know, for experienced modelers, blah blah. Pretty easy to do. They actually include a uh, a templar, a, um, a what do you call it? A jig, uh, a tool, a wire bending tool to make your own lamp guards. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. They actually included that on the sprue. Um, so, uh, easy instructions. This is what I was actually alluding to before. So, you have. You know, you have the three versions. You have your Mark One, II, uh, ICS, uh, Infantry Close Support, I believe this stands for. Here's the Mark II with the, it has the same skirts. The Mark One has that little machine gun um, on the front there, uh, the Mark II. And then my version I'll be building is the Mark Two Three AA version, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, pretty excited about this kit. Like I said, it's my first Rubicon model. Uh, I'm sure I'll show you another one when I have it painted. And uh, another one when I have the extra turret. Alright, keep it.